Fox 5 Surprise Squad is powered by United Nissan, America First Credit Union, Albertsons, and Vons. Well, they were high school sweethearts that went their separate ways, but fate brought them back together. And uh, unfortunate family illnesses brought them back to Las Vegas. So when the Fox 5 Surprise Squad heard their story on 98.5 KLUC, the squad came knocking with gifts that brought this amazing young dad to tears. So the Fox 5 Surprise Squad is heading out to surprise a young couple. And my friend Chet Buchanan here, he has the full backstory. Chet, tell us about him. Yeah, so we talked to Ashley on 98.5 KLUC. Got out of a really tough relationship when I was 18. You know, I had a brand new baby, and um, we started talking. He lived in Connecticut. But we moved back because, you know, family comes first, you know, and you, you've got to be there when, you know, times get rough. And they have been through it, and this guy is special. All right, Chet, you ready for this? I'm so ready for this. Hi, Ashley. I'm Monica Jackson with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. What's your name? I'm Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Nice to meet you. Can we come nice in? Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Oh, thank you. Give me a day in the life of Stanley. What do you do? Work anywhere from 8 to 12, 14 hours. I come home, try to play with the kids a little bit. This is Grayson, and then I have Mason running around here somewhere. Running around here somewhere. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, he's, he's crazy. He's wild. Stanley, you got a lot of love going on. You came back here, and I understand your mom and your grandmother are dealing with an issue as well. Tell us about that. Yeah, uh, they both have cancer. My grandmother has colon cancer, and my mother has breast cancer. We're taking care of the whole family. Well, you just have to. I mean, there, there's nothing else you can do. And I need to bring her to the doctors and pick her up from her airplane trips and stuff like that. What does all this mean to you? I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for him. The life with our two boys. I mean, I just I couldn't have done it without him. I've loved her since I was 16. Like I said, we've heard a lot about you. You really deserve a break. You could probably really use a night out. Date night to the Black Sheep and Kevin Hart tickets. That's dinner for two over at Black Sheep, where you will enjoy a three-course dinner with wine pairings and two tickets to see comedian Kevin Hart at the MGM Grand Garden Arena on July 6th, courtesy of Live Nation Las Vegas. I'm shocked. <laughs> it's pretty crazy that everybody showed up for me. Well, why wouldn't we show up for you, Stanley? I'm just a regular person, just <laughs> doing the regular thing, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. Something else that I, I heard about you, your grandfather, I understand he drove like a truck or something, and you yeah, kept the truck, it's yeah? It's in the driveway. It's outside. Come on, show me the truck. Family offered me the you know, opportunity to have his truck. Yeah. It's either that or they were going to try to get rid of it. I'd much rather have the one he drove than anything else. Is everything runs right and all that? Yeah. See, I was having trouble with it, uh -huh, uh -huh. and it wouldn't pass smog. Yeah. I've had to do the whole top end on it, down to the pistons, and I had to rebuild everything because the valves in the head went bad. Because I heard about this truck and everything you've had to do with the truck, these are our friends from United Nissan. We're going to have the motor put in there for you, and the rest of the stuff, uh, paint the bodywork on the truck. One of our other partners is going to help you do that for you as well. No way. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my God. That's the only thing I wanted for my grandpa. Come a long way. What was your grandfather's name? Jerry. What do you think Jerry is thinking right now? He's super happy. There's another box. Another one? A $1,500 gift card? What's, this, what's that for? So you can trick this thing out like you've <laughs> always wanted to. Oh my God. You raised a good kid here. Thank you. He uh, turned out to be a, a decent young man. I guess you just do what you have to do. And he's doing it. Having reliable transportation gives you a lot of freedom. Hopefully it'll help him do all the things that he needs to do. After seeing the look on his face, I mean, I was almost in tears. I originally heard the story on 98.5 and I just knew. It's just crazy. I mean, I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for him. All right, let's hear it for the happy couple. I like him. That kid <laughs> was so humble yeah. and so sweet. I just he's hugged like, what's him. He's like, what's this for? What's this what, for? Yeah, yeah, like, he's like, why would everybody come for me? It's like, yeah. Stanley, because you deserve it. I just fell in love with him. I'm like, he could be my kid. Yeah. I, I just love him. He was, he was so humble, and he's doing a lot. 24 years old. 
Yeah. He's only 24. Wow. And he's taking care of everybody. His dad that you heard from, he has a disease called Giambarre, okay. and it's where your immune system eats your nervous system. Oh, jeez. So his dad has episodes. He's getting better. You can heal from it, but where you fall, you just fall. So Stanley is, I'm telling you, that young man was amazing. Mm.